Good day everyone, hope you guys are very well. Just a short video on how the solar monitoring app works on your smartphone device. So right over here, you'll see the total production for today. So the, for the full day since the sunrise until the sunset, you produced 49.10 kilowatt for the day. Uh, right here at the bottom, you'll see 72.3, that's his consumption for the day. Next to the consumption for the day, you'll see 85%, that's the state of charge for the battery, which means the battery is currently at 85%. If you click on the chart you'll go in here as you can see it says updated seven minutes ago right here uh, that's only for the stats that is not your real time your real time is actual real time so over here you'll see production he's not producing anything now it's after sunset and over here he's using two kilowatt from the grid at this moment the battery is not doing anything at this moment because we've limited the battery to stop at 84% just in case of emergency, let's say he's having a power outage at the middle of the night at least he still have some battery power left over here you'll see the consumption, this is how much he's currently using in his house so just scroll down a little bit, you'll find the graph over here you just click on the graph to find the details click on the highest point, for instance this one here which means at 38 minutes past 11, right over here is the time, the production was 7.9 kilowatt at this given time, and right next to the consumption is 2.3 kilowatt. That was what he was using at this time. So this can actually go up and down. Over here you'll see a parameter selection. You can select all type of things here. Um, battery charge, discharge, charging power, state of charge, grid power, purchase power, feed-in power, consumption, and production and you can actually go back to your history if you click over here you'll go back to the 18th okay so over here is the 18th so here you can also see the stats let's see what was his highest point for the day here so his highest point for the day here at quarter past 12 he produced 9.3 kilowatt from his solar panels and was consuming 3 kilowatt the reason the production is more than the consumption is because this customer is using grid feed and then you can just go back, scroll a little bit more down, then you find the pie chart here. Over here the battery was charged for today with 1.2 kilowatts. He fed in 19.9 kilowatt to the grid and the south used 28 kilowatt. The total production for today is still 49.10 here in the middle. Just scroll a little bit down, you'll see for the full day the battery have been just charged with 2.7 kilowatt right over here. Uh, down here you'll see the power we've purchased from ESCOM was 41.6 kilowatt for the day. Over here production was 28 kilowatt. And here in the middle consumption today is overall what you've used for the full day since 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock. So it runs from 12 o'clock midnight to 12 o'clock midnight. That's for the stats. If you go back up and you click over here you'll find the stats so over here you'll see the system has been running for 18 days so in this 18 days since the system was running you already produced 757.3 kilowatts you already fed back to the 